Hey there, and welcome back to Analogous. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, removing film. Okay, um, so yesterday we went and shot uh, some film, and today we're going to take a look at uh, how to get it out. Um, it's not that complicated from what I've heard. Um, let's see if there's a section on removing film. Yes. All right, so here we have removal of film. Turn the film knob until no, no number appears in a frame, which means that uh, all of frame um, has been taken up. Push downward the back cover latches. Remove the film roll, which is bound uh, onto the originally empty take-up spool from the camera. Uh, turn the spool of the roll to tighten up the roll, and then use a piece of cellophane tape uh, to, to tape it up. All right, now you can send it for processing. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, sounds good. All right, so we finished shooting on this. I'm just gonna take this tape off so, so you cool cats could see. All right, we were on 12. All right, I shot my 12 exposure, and now we're just gonna wind it up. See some numbers, I don't know what they mean. Right. We already know we shot. See posed. I think that means exposed. This is quite tough. Alright, see, no more red. Alright, no more red means we are done. I'll put that tape back on there. I'm gonna loosen up this tape over here. All of this tape. Ooh. That's not, I put on a lot of tape on this thing. Okay. I'm just gonna place it right there for future use. Hopefully the images came out well. Um, if you saw last week's, yesterday's video, um, I did shoot a blank. Now I plan to shoot um, like a street shot of a food vendor late at night, but that turned out to be a bust. Um, the food vendor was not there. Uh, so I ended up taking a picture of the subway. So here we have the roll. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna hold it tightly, right, and then we're gonna tape this up. Okay. Did you see the paper turn black? Um, because it's been exposed. Then we have this little tape thing. I don't know. Am I supposed to lick it? it looks like one of those things that you could lick, but I will not lick it because this is the post-COVID era, um, and we don't do such things. Let me get some cellophane tape. All right, I'm back with some cello tape. Um, just gonna grab a tad bit, not a lot. I'm gonna secure this right here. And there we go. Now, another thing that you notice here is, I'll give you some info for the person developing the film. ISO 400, 27 degrees. I think it's a 27 degree process, I'm, I'm not sure. But I have noticed on some of the films, um, when I was buying film online, I ended up buying more Ilford, as you can see. Um, put this here, send it to the lab. Um, there's C41 is the process for color film. Now, if you're doing C, uh, color film, you know, at a higher uh, ISO, then it, it jumps to C48. Uh, I think that just means the temperature of the bath. Um, so yeah, that's that's a cool thing to notice. The next thing I want to do is remove this, move it to the other side, and 
get it ready for the next time we are loading film. So this turned out to be, I guess, okay. Okay. And then we're gonna seal this back up. Great. So now I'm just gonna take that film. Um, I found a local um, developer um, who could process the film. That way I don't have to ship it all the way to uh, Dark Room in California. I also found that my local person has high quality scans uh, that are in TIFF format, uh, which is uh, as close to, I would say, raw as possible. Um, and that's good if, if, if some of you guys don't know about photo editing um, or just editing images in general. TIFF is a pretty strong format. You could change a lot of things. Um, so it's almost like raw where you could adjust the temperatures, adjust the highlights and all that. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Now to develop a roll of 120 film like this, um, it costs uh, about $25. So I would have been paying a bit more than that by shipping it to Cali. Uh, but I would only be getting JPEGs back, uh, high quality JPEGs. And looking at uh, which I'm gonna call it the dark rooms website. It actually gave you like comparison photos of the qualities and I was looking at the quality of the scans and I looked at the low the medium and the high and especially with JPEG it's very noticeable that um, I looked at some background shadowing and things are just very pixelated and that's kind of like I'm, I'm kind of confounded by the fact that we're scanning photos, so we're pixelating the grain. Um, so of course you want your pixels to be fine and refined, and that way we could see the grain and all the detail. We don't want to see pixels when we scan, we want to see the grain. Um, so I guess that's kind of what we're after. Um, all right, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load up some more film, and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Bye.